Okay, I've got this app on my phone called Talk, which I've had for some time. I've had it on about four generations of phone. Four, it means four different phones. Okay, and what I did the other day is got a new phone because I cracked the screen on my old phone. And what I wanted to do was take some of the settings that's in Port Talk. I'll just show you what Talk is. I go into the Talk program and I go into real-time information. And these things here, like that screen there and that screen there, and there's a couple of screens I haven't got. This is the more the one that I'm interested in with my uh, 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 diesel particle filter. Right. So I wanted it. I've designed those screens myself, actually. I, did, I just designed these ones on this version of the thing because I had to because what I wanted to do was export the settings on my old phone, which was still working, and bring them into this new phone. So to be able to do that, according to some web pages around, and that is what you need to do is do a long press on the screen now just to show you if i go back to the original screen there's a, th a screen called real-time information if i touch that it takes me to the real-time information and according to what it says you do a long press on that screen so if i do a, a long press on that screen which i'm pressing it simply comes up with an option that says item item options add a display where i can go in and add a display and do that but i don't want to add a display and there's no other options to import or export which is what I'm looking for okay okay so that isn't what I want to do and then I read somewhere else right that uh, you can actually touch on the cog now I notice there's a little cog down the bottom here right but no matter what I do if I touch that and I touch it or a long press on it it does absolutely nothing now the thing that's confusing to me is the fact that I've got this on talk program on my old phone and what I did do is I did something and I can't remember what I did I think I long pressed on the screen somewhere like that right and it came up and had an option and one of the options was uh, screen layout or something like that and under the screen layout there was an option to export the uh, uh, the these design of the screen because just by the way, with this talk program, you have the ability to design the screen. So if I wanted to put something new on it, I can go to a blank screen, for example, where I'll just go over here, do a touch on it, add an item. I want to add an item, which is a dial. The dial I want is 0 to 30 minute mile per hour time. I want a small, medium, large. I'll just do a, sm a small one, for example, and there we are. And it puts it on the screen, right? And then I can move it around where I want it on the screen. If I don't want it, I can just do a long press on it, right? Which I do, and delete that item. Okay. However, so according to the the everything I've read, there's an option somewhere to export, rather than me doing all this, which I had to end up doing, which is these ones here. I went to the trouble point. There's one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine items on the screen, and what I had to do is I had to design them all put them on the screen go to another screen pick out the thing i want it took me about half an hour but what i want to be able to do is if i've had this on another phone is export it and import it now when i did do it on my own phone old phone i did something and i don't know what it is i think i did a long press on it which in this case only comes up with a option to doesn't do anything at this stage yeah added a add an item which i just did before and it came up with a different menu uh, and one of the menus was to export it, and I actually exported it from my old phone. I get this new phone, I go to import it, and there's nothing there. So I figure, oh, I must be using a different version. When I've installed this talk program on my phone, it must be a different version. So I went looking on the phone, I thought, oh, I'll go look to what the version number is. So there's nothing on that screen about the version. If I go back to the screen, and I go to uh, settings down the bottom here, which works there. I go to settings, and I look for a whole lot of things. There's nothing there. That tells, I've been through every one of those items, and there's nothing that tells me which version I'm at. Okay. The only one thing I was thinking of, perhaps if I go to quit. No, if I quit, it doesn't even tell me what version I'm running. Okay. So the only way I could find out what virgin, version of talk I was running was to actually go through to the Play Store, which is there, okay, go to the Play Store, 
and call up the talk program, which I've done earlier, as you can see here. And it tells me, it doesn't tell me, it says, uh, what's new, updated on the 22nd of September 2020, which is like uh, six months ago. And by the way, the one I had on my old phone was probably about that age too, and that was probably six months ago, and it doesn't seem to be a, a different version. So why, somewhere along the line, did I have a situation where I could export it and import it, the design of the screen, and now I can't find it? The only other thing I could think of is perhaps remotely the developer has disabled the fact that you can uh, um, export and import uh, uh, the screen designs. I don't know why. Just another little issue, when I did export it though, what it did is it says exports it into a particular file and I went looking for the file in my file manager and I couldn't find the file to export it to. I went on to some websites and they said, oh, it's in a, uh, a, um, a folder called dot .talk. But if I went into my uh, file manager, which is over here, and I went looking for a file on either the main storage, whatever, called dot .talk, it doesn't show there because this file manager doesn't actually show uh, hidden files. Turns out I need an, another file manager which allowed me to show hidden files. I found the hidden file and found out where it, it exported the information to. But now that I've got the new version, I cannot import it because I cannot find the function which allows me to import uh, the settings, the exported settings I exported from the old phone. And it'd be buggered if I know why. So anyway, that's my dilemma. So anybody knows the answer, please email me and you can find my email address uh, somewhere on my webpage and I'll put a link to my webpage here. Other than that, goodbye.